Hi guys, welcome to my video and my YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about a few things. I will try and make a shorter video this time. We will talk about the new rooms and we will talk about a problem I have had for the last two months or so uh, and <laughs> how I hopefully have solved this problem. So uh, sit back, grab a cup of coffee and some popcorn and let's begin. So these are the two new rooms I have made. They're not really new, they're basically the same as an, the old room I had and then I just duplicated it and just changed uh, some stuff on the wall. I just put in this door frame instead of uh, these uh, cube walls, right? I mean, <laughs> but it still counts as a new room in my game. I still need to add it into an array so it can spawn in the dungeon. I made a short tutorial not long ago on how to create these uh, cracks in the door frame that I have here and which is the same uh, technique I used to create all the cracks uh, in the geometry in my game. So you can look up that tutorial, watch it if you are into Blender and all that stuff. Um, but I mean it's basically it. It's, uh, it's two new rooms with some new door frames with some you know another room behind uh, that can sometimes spawn a light in there. Um, I mean, all these small new rooms are a part of uh, making the dungeon a little more interesting. So you don't see the same rooms repeating over and over all the time. Uh, and these rooms are kind of uh, nice and relaxing to work on. So, so I'll just, when I feel like it, make a new room. And before you know it, <laughs> we will have a lot of rooms uh, in these dungeons. So, uh, But let's talk about what's really important for this video here which is the swapping out ability system uh, that I have been working on for the last two months. Uh, I mean, it, it sounds pretty hardcore, but you know, I only have a few hours uh, in the week to uh, work on this game. So uh, <laughs> two months may sound like a lot, but in reality, it, it might only be one week uh, in the evenings, right? So I've had this idea for, uh, I don't know, as long as I can remember that that you pick up these abilities and then you will be able to put them on whatever button you want, like just like in Diablo, right? You have 10 abilities, you can only use 6 of them, so you pick which one you want to take with you uh, into combat, right? So I made this little menu screenshot long ago just to get the idea down on paper. Uh, on how I want it to work. I mean, it's super simple. All, all games, almost all games have this system, but to me, <laughs> it's a huge mountain to climb. And I mean, I've been talking with a colleague about this system and and I kind of the conclusion is that I needed to kind of redo the whole ability system, right? Now the idea is that uh, I, I'm having this master ability, which I will make all other abilities from, you know, firewall, lightning strike, someone undead, and all this will will uh, have the same master as their parent. But again, guys, uh, this system is kind of too big to talk about in a video like this because it goes into so many blueprints and and witches uh, that that I cannot really. It would make absolutely no sense if I started to show you all this stuff uh, behind the scenes. So I won't do that. Luckily, I have an extremely awesome Discord community, right? One of the guys in there, uh, he's called Bipni. He helped me setting up the basics of this system, or basically he helped me <laughs> take the, the blueprint spaghetti code I have made so far with the abilities and the menus, and then kind of clean it up a bit and, and make everything work kind of like I wanted, kind of a it's it's not as a solid solution he would probably have done this a whole other way but he kind of saved me and helped me fix my issues and i mean i'm super grateful to have a community that is willing to help me out with these problems i mean all of them know a lot more about unreal engine and game development than i do so i i, I mean i can ask them a question and they will do their best to uh, help me and get a solution that, that I can uh, work with. And that, I mean, that is beyond awesome, guys. So, Bipni helped me out with getting this uh, ability and UI system to work. And then, on top of that, afterwards, I have been, you know, fumbling around 
trying to get this ability swap system menu to work that I showed you earlier, right? And for some odd reason, uh, it just, it worked. I mean, I was about to say just worked, but I mean, of course I spent hours on this, but in the end, without any help, I got the weapon, not the weapon, the ability swap system working, which is super awesome, right? I've only done this for the bone ability right now. Uh, <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of moving parts in this system, so it, it will take me some time to transfer this to the shield abilities and the, the sword abilities. But hopefully I have a, a good template right now that I can just base everything else off from. So whenever you use a skill point on an ability, you click one of these abilities on the bone glove and this new menu will pop up and you can select on which ability button you want the ability to be triggered from. And that is exactly what I want for this game, which is absolutely fantastic. It still has a lot of problems I also need to fix, like it keeps spending skill points every time I click this button, so the skill points go into minus, which is not very good. And then I have a whole separate system for each ability where I kind of want to have each ability giving uh, its own skill tree just like games like last epoch right you click an ability and then you come into the that ability's skill tree where you can upgrade it's also kind of like diablo right if you want to make the fireball into a poison ball then you can do this in the fireball upgrade tree if you want the fireball to have a bigger radius more damage maybe it flies out faster maybe it shoots out two fireballs i don't know maybe it, it have a longer burning effect on the enemies all these awesome stuff i can think of will be will be put into each ability's own skill tree and on top of that i have been thinking about uh, that each ability will have its own experience bar right and its own uh, skill point so if you if you so if you use the fireball a lot that will gain in levels and it will earn skill points you can put into the fireball skill tree and that is also kind of to um, avoid uh, people spending their points every time they play into the same ability over and over again because let's say you just love the lightning strike then you every time you get a skill point you just put everything into the lightning strike tree right if each ability has its own um, experience and, and skill tree then you might not find the lightning strike to begin with maybe you find the fireball and you end up spending some points in that because that's the ability you end up using in the beginning so when you pick up the lightning strike later on you have already played with the fireball and leveled that up and so maybe you decide that ah, maybe i should go with the fireball instead of the lightning strike that i always do so that is kind of to switch things up a little so people don't uh, you know just put the skill points into the same ability over and over every time they start over the extreme example of this is these new uh, rogue light uh, vampire survivors game where you, where you just get to choose from three different upgrades every time you you gain a level so you have no real control over uh, what you will end up with it's all into the randomization and it just creates some different builds every time you play which makes uh, the experience kind of uh, fresh every time right you don't play the same thing over and over again put the same points into the same things uh, but that's kind of on the extreme and i'm not sure i want to go in that direction even though people just love that today right you open a chest you get three uh, upgrades to choose from and the idea is great so other things i need to solve with this ability swap system is right now i can just put the same ability into all four slots and they will run on their own cooldown right so i can just super fast summon four skeletons if i want that because the ability is on four buttons so there's more uh, code you know there's more logic i need to do in this uh, ability system but uh, i mean the worst part has been done so hopefully the the rest should be just smooth sailing from here right 
We'll see what happens. That's all I have for you today, guys. This is a shorter video, so hopefully it's a little faster to make, uh, which means I again hopefully can make more videos, but we'll see. Um, it's all random on this channel, I'm sorry about that. But anyways, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.